Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I have some early morning tea that I wanted to spill before I head over here to VidCon. If you guys do not know, breaking news as of about three o'clock this morning, XXX Tenstacion's killer was found. His mother confirmed this. And now the news is spreading all over the internet. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip. The man who killed XXX was a 22 year old man. His name is Dietrich Williams. And, um, Right now, he is in police custody. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, we know that so many tips poured in from the community on this one, specifically through social media, because this rapper had so many fans that were obviously upset about his murder. And we also know that investigators were armed with surveillance videos. Something crucial, though, paid off, and in the end, police were able to arrest someone who was being held here at the Broward County Jail this afternoon. Diedrich Williams was picked up last night by BSO detectives who are now labeling the 22-year-old as the prime suspect in the murder of famous rapper XXX Tentacion. The crime happened Monday afternoon in broad daylight outside of the Riva Motorsports dealership in Deerfield Beach where the rapper had been shopping for motorcycles. Investigators say as the musician was pulling out of the parking lot in his high-end BMW, two men approached with a gun in an apparent robbery. They opened fire killing the popular musician. A growing memorial at the crime scene has drawn a steady stream of fans, friends, and even family members during candlelight vigils. But applause just hours ago among a crowd when XXX Tentacion's mother told people that she had just received a text from a detective with some good news. Those three words, we got them, highlighting the big break that X's family and detectives had been after all week long. Williams, the suspect, has been arrested numerous times in the past for cocaine possession, grand theft auto, aggravated assault with the fire firearm and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He is a local tattoo artist, according to his Instagram page, where it shows he actually follows the famed rapper that he's accused of killing. In the kind of neighborhood that we live in, driving around in that kind of car, and if you're a rapper, you make yourself a target. And this video just into our local TAN newsroom of that crime scene and memorial where so many fans have uh, kept up that steady presence of visiting that site where uh, the rapper's pictures and other flowers and candles uh, still remain today. Uh, the mood there obviously upbeat as people are starting to learn that uh, police do have someone in custody uh, for the rapper's murder. Out here at the jail, it's unclear if specifically this suspect actually knew that rapper on a personal level. Much more information is expected to trickle in from the Broward Sheriff's Office later this afternoon and in about an hour that suspect is expected to appear before a judge for the first time. He is being held on a first degree murder charge and also uh, for violating a previous probation. So we'll definitely be here through it all and all right so you guys just watched that news clip and you guys saw what they had to say about the situation and I want to talk about a lot of things okay um first and foremost like I told you guys on Instagram the other day when everybody was tagging me and all that soldier kid shit I was getting tagged in it, DJ Academics, World Star Hip Hop. It was a bunch of us. People just kept tagging me. They're saying, look, this is proof. Soldier Kid did it. He has a red mask in his car. You know, he said that he shot him and then he deleted the tweet. So it's all these, you know, innuendos and rumors being spread. And when I took to Instagram, this is what I told y'all. I basically said, let's not spread rumors without solid proof. We don't need any more deaths due to social media. OK, and then I also stated the same thing in my original video talking about the whole XXX shooting. 
They're saying that he wasn't too far from the murder scene. A lot of people are putting two and two together and now they're accusing this young man of killing XXX. So I took to Instagram to basically tell folks, like, I don't know if this is Soldier the Kid that y'all keep tagging me in, but we need to stop with the rumors. Unless we have, you know, specific proof, we should not be accusing people of something as serious as murder. And I think social media has definitely gotten besides themselves. Everybody wants to be a bootleg detective and a bootleg super sleuth, but it's not okay because right now it's hot right now in Broward County. It's, it's hot right now in Florida in general. A lot of people are really upset about this death. Emotions are high and we don't need any more killings of young black men. Now it's come out that these two young men had absolutely nothing to do with it, okay? So this is what I'm saying, is that we have too many people on social media who want to be bootleg detectives, who want to throw names out there, but y'all are not realizing that this, you guys are not realizing that this has real world consequences, okay? First and foremost, this kid, this soldier kid, and soldier Joey or soldier whatever the fuck the other one's name is, they're both some attention whores, okay? Because they posted some stuff knowing that it would stir the social media pot, okay? He posted that he shot X. They were doing all types of stuff to get attention. And now it's come out that they had nothing to do with it. But you see how he went from being gangster to coming back to apologize and damn near crying when shit got real. When he started getting real death threats. But what's even more sick, and I blame social media, is that do you know that Gossip in the City posted the little boys before he started talking about X and claiming to be the killer. He was at 61,000 followers. After the rumor spread, he jumped up to 348,000 followers on social media and still climbing. So I blame a lot of us who sit there and follow these knuckleheads. And then when shit gets real, everybody wants to go wild out at a visual. Everybody wants to go wild out and, and, and turn cars over and act a fool at a memorial. Like I said yesterday, where was all this love for XXX when he was alive? Now folks are walking around here on some somber shit. Now how this grown ass man got caught. Gossip in the city was posting stuff from his social media page. You see him flashing money that he took out that Louis Vuitton bag that XXX had. You see him talking shit. And then his brother went on to social media. When people started putting two and two together, his brother went on to social media and he started going off on folks, threatening folks. Y'all go ahead and check out this video really quick. Hey man, check this fly ass shit out, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there got my brother name and y'all mob and shit, man. Keep my brother name out y'all motherfucking mob, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing no games, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all getting y'all self in a whole bunch of trouble, dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just mind y'all business. Let them cracker do their motherfucking job, my nigga. Nigga pulling up for real, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't pit faces, nigga. Fuck a nigga, nigga. Z shit, nigga. Y'all know what it is, nigga. All right, so you guys just saw that video of his brother going off and, and talking shit. But like I said, now it's come out that his brother really did do it. And now do you guys understand why I say stop spreading these fucking rumors and stop putting stuff out there and stop getting so invested in bullshit and let the police do their job? The reason why I was so adamant about that and I said I don't want to see another young black man get killed. Granted, these two young boys are some damn attention whores and whatever happens to them, that's on them, okay? Because they brought that energy to them looking for social media attention. But the problem is when you guys start stuff, it has real world consequences. A few weeks ago, we all know that Zach TV, another YouTuber, he ended up getting killed. Now that's a whole nother situation. I'm not gonna go too deep into that. I never want to speak about Zach TV because there's a lot of underlying shit with that whole situation, okay? But what I do wanna say about Zach TV is that shortly after he was killed, people started insinuating that his best friend, T Streets, had to have set him up. And the sad part is that Zach TV's mother, she took to social media and she said on May 31st, he took your bum ass off the streets to try and make something out of you. He put money in your pocket and you set my baby up, dirty motherfucker. Then she says, seven times, you punk ass bitch, you will be brought to light. Your bitch ass can't hide for long. So she created this atmosphere where the bloggers started running with it. People started accusing this young man of setting up Zach TV and killing his best friend. So much so that he got onto 
uh, Instagram Live or Facebook Live and was ranting and saying that now he has to go talk to the police to clear his name that he didn't have nothing to do with it. Y'all go ahead and check out this video of T Streets real quick. I know this bitch ass blogger keep on putting my name in his mouth. He a fucking bitch. Oh yeah, you know it's fuck these niggas, man. I ain't worried about these niggas. It's just they got the police coming knocking on my door because these goofy ass bloggers want to keep on putting my name and shit, man. Like they know what the fuck going on. I ain't running from they ass. I can't even talk to them. Pid. Real shit. All right, so you guys just saw that video of T Street trying to clear his name. But even after that, even after him going to the police and saying, I'll give you a DNA test, you know, I had nothing to do with it. Even after him trying to clear his name, people still refused to believe him. And literally a few days after he shot that video, he was killed as well. So that's what I'm saying. We have to be very, very careful throwing out these accusations. People act like social media is a whole different world. Social media is nothing but an extension of the real world. And again, there is power in the tongue. Stop accusing folks without proof. Stop just spreading rumors. And most of all, stop looking for fucking attention on social media by saying that you killed somebody knowing you damn well didn't. This entire situation is just sickening. It went from a young man losing his life at the age of 20 over some BS, over some jury and over some money, to two other young men wanting to be attention whores and claim a murder that they had nothing to do with. And now you have a 22-year-old who's probably going to be looking at life in prison for this murder and all for what? So he could steal this man's money and floss on social media? That's how he was caught. He was literally taking pictures of himself in ex's glasses and jewelry and everything else. This shit don't make no sense. When I tell y'all there's some real demonic, crazy stuff going on in this world, people are, they have social media in the real world so convoluted. How do you kill somebody and take their life? One of the, you know, the, the hottest up and coming rappers right now. And then you're on social media flossing and flexing. That lets me know right there that you have to be mentally disturbed to not see nothing wrong with that. When we were growing up, when you did some dirt, you took that shit to the fucking grave. But this whole, this new generation, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all are so busy looking for validation, attention. This entire situation is sickening. But I'm so happy that his mother is now able to find some peace. And she knows who took her baby's life. And I hope this is a lesson to these other rappers. Stop putting out certain energies out there. Stop trying to be about that life. Get security. There's nothing wrong with rolling with security. This young man said he didn't want, you know, he didn't want to have security with him. He was advised a week before his death to get security. You know what I'm saying? He felt the people loved him that much. The streets don't love you, homie. The block don't love you. They want to see you come back. They want to pull you back. People don't like to see you grow and elevate. Especially when they see you changing and trying to do something better with your life. That's when they hate you even more. So I hope all you young people take this as a lesson. When you receive a blessing, like blowing up on SoundCloud, blowing up on social media, you have a following, you're able to build a brand. Get up out the hood. Stop going back. You don't owe people nothing. This entire situation is just sickening and disheartening. You literally have two young men around the same age. One is God. He's never coming back. And the other one, he's going to be gone and never coming back. Because he's going to end up getting at least life in prison. Because we all know ratchet ass Florida don't play. So this entire situation, like I said, is just really sad and disturbing. I want to, you know, put this out there, speak to y'all about it, and let you guys know, stop spreading rumors. Stop fanning the flames. The same thing happened a few weeks ago to T Streets. This man is dead behind some shit that he didn't have nothing to do with. And these two young boys don't realize how close they put themselves into danger. Because folks was itching to take them out. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story. On this young man, Dietrich Williams, being arrested today for killing XXX. Um, him on social media, flossing and stunting and doing all this foolishness. And then how do you guys feel about the fact that these other young boys try to claim killing him for attention, only to find out they had nothing to do with the situation? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.